Right. Yeah, I completely understand. All right, I got to start this video, so I'll talk to you later. All right, bye-bye. What's up, guys? I'm Tech Steve, and I want to make this video to help you guys out because I know you guys are trying to connect with your companies, your friends, families. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use the Zoom video conferencing software. So the reason I want to do this video is because I think in times like this, we need to still reach out to people and stay connected. Also, make sure that everything is getting done as good as possible. So sit back and relax, and let's get started. Before I start showing you guys what this software can do, I just want to let you guys know that I'm not getting paid by Zoom to make this video. The reason I'm making this video is because I used to use this in a company I used to work for, and it worked very good for connecting people. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dive into the website and show you the free version that you guys can use today to get yourself up and running. Now you may ask yourself, why should I use this video conference software versus something different? Well, the biggest thing is that you can connect up to 100 people in a big conference using a link, and that way you guys can all get connected. So let's go ahead and dive in so I can show you what it's all about. So here's the website you wanna to go to is zoom.us. Now you can use this for personal reasons or you can use it for business, and they have all kind of different setups. So we're gonna focus on the free one today. On a free plan, you can add up to 100 people, unlimited one-on-one -on -one meetings. There is a cap on it of 40 minutes when you're doing group meetings. When it comes to video conferencing, it does have limitations as far as the quality. So you get 720p, you won't get that 1020 or 4K or anything like that. Also, you do have a limit of 25 people per screen, which is more than enough for most people. You can also do screen sharing. All you need to do is use the Chrome browser and download the extension. There's an option that you can use over the telephone and a few other features down here, but you can go to the website and take a look at it. Another thing I want to point out is that they do have an Outlook plugin. It's compatible with iPhones, iPads, and there's an app for Android. Well, let's go ahead and sign up and get through the process. Now you can set this up with your work email, but what I'm going to do is use my TechSD demo account to go ahead and sign up for it. Now we have everything set up. Let's go ahead and walk through all the different menu screens. On your main profile, you can hit edit and change that to anything you like, including your address, your business information, or anything you want. You can also change your picture if you like. And you can add in your phone number, job title, anything that pertains to your personal self or your company's information. The next tab is meetings. Under this tab, you have a list of your upcoming meetings, previous meetings, and personal meeting room. Now, if you want to schedule a meeting, go ahead and schedule a meeting, give it a name, then set up the date and time, the duration, and like I said earlier, you're allowed 40 minutes up to three people or more. You also can set up reoccurring meetings so it'll pop up in your calendar. You can set up a password if you like so other people can't join in. You can enable or disenable the webcam. You can also enable if they can use the telephone or computer audio or both. But under computer audio, you can choose the mute participants if you like, which is usually the best option in case you're doing a big conference call. Once you get everything in, go ahead and save. And this is where you can add it to your calendar so you don't forget on these different formats. For example, if I want to add it to my Google calendar, I can press on that, give it access, then allow permissions to add it to my calendar. Now, after you get all your calendar sent, you can take this link right here, you can copy it, you can email it to anybody that you like. And that way it has the built-in password, the medium ID, and all they need to do is just click on that link at the time that you specify, and then they can join you instantly. Now, under the free version, you don't have access to webinars, but if you paid for some of those other plans, you can use this feature. Next, we have recordings. Now, under the free version, you don't get any cloud recording, but you can do local recordings, and it does support Windows and Mac. Under settings, we have meeting where you can host your own camera, and you can also allow your participants to use their camera. And you can also allow people to go ahead and log in before you get there so they'll be ready to go. And there's a few other password settings down here at the bottom. There will be a chat box available so you can also save those chats if you like. And this is where you can enable the screen sharing but I usually say set it up for host only because if you have access to other people's computers you might be tapping into their privacy but if you decide to share their computer information make sure they know up front. And this is where you can set up local recording to your computer automatic recording every time you do a meeting. And under telephone, this is where you can set up a phone number that people can share whenever you're using the service. 
In this section, we're going to talk about the admin. And the admin is the person who sets everything up and sends out the invites to anybody who they want to participate in this meeting. Under here, you can add all your different company information. And at the bottom, you can choose a credit card or PayPal if you want to build upgrade to those more expensive plans if you're going to have a bigger meeting. This video is for the free service, but if you do pay for the service, you have access to modify any of these different accounts, including adding your own company's logo, single sign-in, and integrating into your calendar system at your job. Now you have a general idea of how to get everything set up as far as the settings go, let's go and host a meeting so you can see what kind of process it is to get everything up and running so you can start having those meetings. At the top of the screen, there's a button that says resources. Click on it, and then you'll see the Zoom client for meetings. Go ahead and click on it, and it does know if you have a PC or a Mac, so don't worry about that. Once it downloads, go ahead and open up the package and set up all the permissions. And once you log in, this is what it looks like. Now to create a new meeting, all you need to do is hit the meeting button here. But before you start any meeting, make sure your computer speakers and microphone work. So you want to press on test speaker and microphone right here. So if you hear the ringtone, you're all set. But there is a drop down here and you can choose different speakers if you have USB drives plugged in. Now for this part, it's gonna actually repeat what you're saying and play it back. Now for this part, it's gonna actually repeat what you're saying and play it back. Once you hear that, hit yes, and then press join with computer audio. If you look at the bottom, you see the microphone is actually moving with my voice, but if you arrow up, you have different options here where you can change it in case you wanna change which microphone you're using, and here you have a list of different things. You have general, you have video, screen sharing, chat options, and virtual background. And this is for people who have a green screen. You can have this virtual background. And then you can choose where your recordings go. There's your profile again, your computer performance, keyboard shortcuts, and accessibility. Now, instead of sending an invite, I'm gonna show you where you can get your meeting ID as well as the password and I can share it with these other devices so I can show you how it works and then we'll go ahead and wrap up the video. Now you can add up to 100 people but I took these three smartphones so I can invite those to the meeting so you can see it on the screen just to give you a general idea of how it works. So now we need a meeting code and a password so let's go ahead and start the video. And then at the bottom here you can invite people. Now at the top here is your meeting ID and at the bottom here is the password. So let's go ahead and enter those into all the cell phones real quick. Another thing I like about this software is that it doesn't require an account. All you need to do from your smartphone is click on join a meeting, put in the meeting ID and the password. With all the phones ready to go, I'm gonna go ahead and click join so they can join this meeting. As a courtesy, it's good to turn all the microphones down so it doesn't cause feedback. But there you are, I have one meeting here, one there, one there, and one on the computer. A hundred people, this is pretty cool. The last thing I'll show you while you're in here, you can highlight different people and you see that has their name right there. If you hit the three lines right there, you can pin their video, spotlight their video. You can even make that person a host. You can remove them and you can rename them. So there's a lot of cool options you can do in this. So if you want to use Zoom or learn how to get it connected, I hope this video helped you guys out. Stay safe out there. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace. Oh yeah, I forgot. After your meeting, it will save the recording, so let me show you where that's located. You can save it anywhere you want, but under Documents, there's a folder called Zoom. And if you click on it, it'll show you different recordings. And this is the file that we just got through recording. So that's everything you need to know. It's time to do some meetings.